listening to you so very much. Hi, um, Anthony White with the movie blog. <laughs> I'm so excited to speak with you again. I had the honor to speak with you at the end of the We Own This City rent carpet where you were kind enough to speak with me and my Jamaican brother about that project, but also about this Bob Marley movie. Now, we shared about how proud, you know, Jamaicans are with their culture and how it's reflected in film, specifically with the Jamaican accent. Can you share any insights into how you navigated the challenge of, you know, like one, portraying authentic Jamaican accents while two, ensuring accessibility for a diverse audience? Like, how did you work with the actors to strike a balance? Yeah, that that's that was the biggest challenge of the film was language, uh, for sure. Language was everything. But, you know, if you watch a video of Bob online, you understand him. You may not understand every word, but you get it. Um, and you understand where he's coming from. And so uh, it was important to find that balance, you know, and, and not water it down. Um, I felt like the more specific we were, the more universal the film became. And so we leaned into that. Uh, and whether we had to subtitle the film or not, that was something that I knew that it was possible. Um, but I wanted to make sure that we weren't, we weren't watering down the language. Uh, I think that would have done a disservice to Bob, his story, his message. Um, and we worked tirelessly to make that happen. We had dialect coaches, we had linguists on set, you know, we had, we had family members on set because it wasn't just about Pachwa, it was Bob Pachwa, it was just its own language. Bob spoke differently. And so, yeah, it just, it, it took a community of folks to make sure that we got it right. But ultimately we we're making a movie, a cinematic experience. And it's something that you feel, it's something that you feel when you watch a movie, you sink into that and then you embrace it. And if you allow yourself to embrace it, then you have an emotional experience. And hopefully we, we, we landed in that pocket. And I apologize. I should have started off. Thank you. Thank you. I watched the film and I, I, and I was, I had my critical eye on. Thank you. I really appreciate that care. Awesome. The movie, it also dives into Bob's personal struggles with like relationships. Now, how did you approach depicting these intimate moments while, you know, also respecting the privacy of Bob's family and legacy? Yeah, look, it, it... It was figuring out what the core message of our movie was, right? We're making a celebration about Bob's life. We have two hours, two and a half hours to do it. What are the moments that we're going to pick? I wanted the moments to focus on Bob's musical legacy and journey. And then what were the things that happened in his life to help complicate those things uh, on a personal level? Um, you know, and, and those were the things that we wanted to capture within the period of time that we could. And we, fo we, cho we chose to focus on 1976 to 1978 uh, and those moments in his life. Now, we couldn't go into every detail, as you know, you can't do in every film. Um, but hopefully we gave enough that showed you a complex portion of, uh, you know, portrait of a man, uh, a man that struggled deeply, um, you know, in his life, growing up poor, abject poverty, absentee father, uh, homeless. Um, and then rose to be one of the greatest musicians to ever do it. Um, that was the focus of our film. Um, and then, yeah, of course, we, 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 we wanted to show the complexity of what, what happens to a man on that journey. And hopefully, we, uh, hopefully we, we found the right balance. Thank you so much. Um, finally, what, what do you hope audiences, you know, both longtime fans and newcomers to Marley's music like this, this is going to bring some new fans. What are you hoping they take away from this? I think it'll be different for everybody, but you know, Bob was saying, Bob was singing to unify people, man. Message of peace, love, unity. It's critical, man. It's critical that we listen. Um, you know, I, I felt like I heard Bob's music dozens of times, hundreds of dozens of times before and never really, never really understood the lyrics in the way that I do now. So I hope the film brings us closer to the lyrics, which brings us closer to the man and understanding where he was coming from, what he was singing for. Um, and, I, and it makes you love him even more, even more. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I hope to speak to you again. Thank you so much, Ronaldo. All right, my man. Have a great day. Thank you.